Hey guys, before we start the episode, I just wanted to remind you that tomorrow from 8 p.m. UK time, I will be live on YouTube with Mass Effect Legendary. I cannot wait to get back into the Mass Effect world and replay the story and the games. The Mass Effect universe is so amazing and I've had lots of fun playing it the first time, so I'm looking forward to playing it again. I will be streaming it live on YouTube. We're going to go through all three games and I really hope to see you in chat when I do live stream. So... Yeah, first stream tomorrow, 8 p.m. UK time. Hope to see you there, guys. All right, let's get back into this. Hello, everybody. Rusted Ground here. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. We're currently on our way to Charlotte, the uh, widow that we, we uh, helped um, and, and ta taught her how to, to hunt and stuff. So yeah, we're we're going that way at the moment. Whoa, 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 easy there. <clears throat> but we have a little bit more to go through this winding path here. This looks the uh, the views from uh, from from up here are just amazing. I know they don't translate uh, great on uh, on YouTube on the video that you see, but man. The, the, the level of detail in this game is just amazing. But yeah, so uh, last episode, we helped... Uh, we helped uh, Eagles fly to escape his imprisonment. So I'm hoping that he's now back with his father. Uh, that will surely complicate things a little bit for us, but... It was something that Arthur yep. wanted to do. He he did on his own accord, so to say. And uh, yeah, that's going to be the situation. We'll see what happens when we when we go back to camp. We'll see how Dutch is going to react and what he's going to say. What he's going to say, basically. But in the meantime, we uh, we are on our way. Like I said, to help Charlotte with something. I don't know with what, but something i also hunted an elk hold on a second um, what do we have here here we go moose uh oh i better get moving Am I going to find the legendary, the legendary moose somewhere in these parts? Hmm. I don't know if I, I mean... I don't know if I have uh, room for some moose skin, but I'll make room, you know what I'm saying? There we go. Okay, let's have a look here. Actually, I should... Hold on a second. I should be bringing... No, no, no. Stick with this one. Sorry with this one, but let's bring this one out here as well, just in case. So we're hunting legendary animals. Let's see what we have here. A little bit of dung. Looks a way off. We're going this way? Yes, we are. Over the tracks here. Okay, that's interesting. Hmm. What am I missing here? Mm. 
I am missing something and I don't know. Oh, 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 there's something over there. Hold on. There's definitely something over there. Let me see. Some fur over here. Okay. Getting close. Getting oh, there it is. Oh, come on. But it was right over there. Why doesn't... <clears throat> it's annoying. Hold on. I just wanted to see what what uh, what type of weapon I should be using for a perfect kill. Uh, I'm assuming it's a like a sniper rifle type of weapon, right? I mean, I hope so. Use a bow with an improved arrow. In pro, uh, with a what? Improved arrow. What the hell? I don't have a bow with an improved arrow. I think I'm gonna have to use. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to use you here. I shouldn't have. Oh man, where did he go now? Oh, there it is. That's it. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> wow, this guy took a lot of hits. Holy moly. But look at it. Uh, did I just hear a jaguar or something? Because there is a jaguar in these parts. I've met him before. Okay. Legendary moose antler. And some pelt. And I don't know what to do with the pelt because I don't have room where to put it, unfortunately. Um, I think I will go to my horse and I will take down the perfect elk skin that I have and just put this one instead. And then try to sell it, sell this somewhere or, or bring it to camp and yeah. Uh, we'll see, but let's just have a look here really quickly. So I can drop this like that, and then I can go here and just go remove the elk pelt. Unfortunately, drop that somewhere. Yeah, like over here, and pick this one up again. Ah, man. I think you, you, you use this for um, for some, uh, some gear pieces, right? Anyway, okay, <clears throat> girl. let's be on our way. We were, we were on, a, on a mission. So let's go. Let's see what, uh, what we can do here to help. Um, Okay, getting close now. So here we go.
Hello there, ma'am. Hope you're doing all right. My, my. I was wondering when I was going to see you again. You look different. <laughs> Well, the rigors of simplicity take their toll on a woman. Oh, no, I didn't mean it. No, I know. Things are going well. I couldn't have done it without you. Oh, you did it all yourself. <coughs> so how are you holding up? Ah, uh, I'm still standing. <laughs> which is an improvement on the last time you saw me. I wish that there was something else that I could do. Ma'am, you have done more than enough. Please, call me Charlotte. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Well, you take care of yourself, Arthur. All right, Charlotte. I'm really happy we we helped we helped her out. To be honest, I'm really happy. I'm really happy that she. Well, please go on in and help yourself to anything you need. What's mine is yours. No, don't worry about it. Oh, well, that's very kind. No, let's uh, let's not take advantage here. It's. It's fine. I'm very. I'm. I'm happy that we we helped her. Uh, I'm happy that she's doing well, you know, because she's she is living here on her own in this part of the world, so to say. Um, she's very remote, I think, at least. Um, okay, uh, we have a trapper right over here. Let's visit him. Sell the fur that we have really quickly and then um, and then we'll see and we'll see what we'll do Whoop. we're going through, through here I don't want to return to camp just yet I don't really I'm not really in the mood to meet with Dutch just yet so we might camp out a little bit and Do whatever else uh, we can do. So I think, what's his name again? I th I think our buddy Hamish. Yeah. Okay. So Hamish wants to uh, go hunting again. That's fine. We can maybe help help him out with that. You know. I don't know if I've said this before, but it feels like um, so far everybody that Arthur meets, they keep asking him how he feels and how he's doing, which is something that they didn't do in the past. So I don't know if that's because he looks sick or yeah. Uh, okay, that's new. Whoa, 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 easy does it. What the hell? Oh, no, no, don't tell me there's a guy here. Oh, hold on a second, hold on a second. Am I hearing dogs or wolves or something? I thought I could get through this. Okay, so hold on. Let's just do this here because my weapon is in poor condition. Okay, that's weird. Okay, so I'm sensing trouble here. So we're just gonna be careful, I guess. Or we won't. Do 
bad for it. Should've just left. Oh my god, is he okay? Oh man, now I just feel bad. Come on. It'll be okay. Can I not help him in any way? Wild Man's Journal. What have we here? What is this? October 2nd, 1881. Runaway's Diary. Today, today is my birthday. Mother had old Circe scrub, scrub me and put me in my dinner clothes and I spoke with the minister after services and prayed with him. Old Cersei made a cake to go along with the Sunday dinner and father pressed me with a shotgun, presented me with a shotgun which he said was mine and that I am to take care of it. The comb has been engraved and now you are a man to God and me. And there is filigree across the barrels and are the trigger guard uh, and it is very beautiful. Father tells me that I am to go hunting with him soon. Mother said she did not care of old Cersei's cake, but I found it sweet and old Cersei let me have some blueberry jam with it and that was sweet as well. October 22nd, 1881. Father took me quail hunting today. We took off before the sunrise and father had me carry my own shotgun and though it was heavy, I did not complain. Father begged, bagged four head, but I missed both my shots despite Cooter scaring up a great many large head. My eyes were diverted time and again by the beauty of the woods. Father said it was all right, but I know he is upset with me. I am ashamed. October 29, 1881. I shot a quail today. It is nearing the end of the season and the quail are very large and I hit it in the throat so by the time Kuda retrieved it, the quail had bled and it was covered in blood as well. It is with great, great shame I admit that the sight of the bird and all the blood caused me to cry and father was disappointed and gave me a lesson and told old Cersei not to rub me with con comfrey afterwards so it is still quite painful. I do not want to go hunting again. November 15th, 1881. It is, a it is unseasonably warm. Father calls it Indian summer. He takes advantage and goes hunting every week and demands that I come with him. I hate it. The shotgun is heavy and the gunpowder causes my eyes to sting and my nostrils and mouth are caked in gunpowder all day. Father complained to mother that old Cersei was treating me as though I were a child, so old Cersei no longer scrubs me, but I am not a child, so I scrub myself just fine. I would like to never go hunting again. I write here because in school we have been reading My Life Among the Trees by Jeremiah Stanfield Winthrop, Winthrop about a boy, also Winthrop, that leaves his home and lives in nature. He builds for himself a complex structure deep in the woods and constructs elaborate traps to ensnare his rotten foster family of which its many members found him hound him considerably eventually Winthrop describes finding a new family and being very happy with them i wonder if such a thing is possible december 3rd 1881 i made myself a promise that if father gave me another lesson i would leave the house and he gave me one today after i left his horse blanket outside overnight and uh, i am decided oh so when he says father gives me a lesson is basically a lesson is a beating basically that's what i take from here I have been packing away necessary clothing and supplies for a journey away. I have a folding map and have already laid out a route leading south and west which should keep me from the cold should it ever come. The leaves are dead on the branches but it's still warm. I have the wood-handled knife father gave me and the box of tackles and the length of good wire and I, I have the compass as well but I will not take the shotgun. I have 
no need for it and want it less and anyone I encounter will not be much impressed with me for having it. I will miss mother and old Cersei, but I am decided. I have stolen two jars of old Cersei's blueberry jam. I hope she forgives me. December 24th, 1881. Christmas Eve. I believe I have made it to North Carolina, but I am, may still be in Virginia. I am glad I packed with me my warmest coat, as it is cold at night and it is necessary even if I manage to make a fire. I am ashamed to say I have already eaten all of old Cersei's jam and most of the provisions I brought with me, though I found a creek and managed to catch two trout which sustained me for several days. I can feel my ribs through my shirt and at night I see yellow eyes in the dark, but I hope they will not approach my fires, if only I had Cooter with me. January 1st, 1882. I am afraid this pen nears the end of its ink reservoir, so does the rest of me. Last afternoon I ran across a litter of pups and one of them came and licked my hand. It was a fine moment. I will remember it for... Oh, man. And I can killed the wolves. And now he's gone from here. Oh, man. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nope. He's not... Okay. <sighs> Why? I sh man, I feel bad. I feel really bad now. Well, I mean, I don't think I'm gonna carry him anywhere. Ah, uh, man. After reading his journal, honestly, yeah, I feel bad. Okay, yeah. It's such a weird and random encounter, isn't it? I mean, I'm sorry. I don't think I can do anything. It's not like I can bury the body or something. Oh, man. What were we doing again? We were going to sell the uh, legendary fur, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's see. Let's see what we can do now. That was such a random encounter. But that's, uh, I think that's the beauty, that's the beauty of Red Dead. These random encounters, some of them do repeat, uh, you know, but some of them are yeah, interesting. And I even got, uh, like, decreased um, honor, right? Because I, I shot him and I, and I killed his, uh, his wolves and, yeah. oh well. I have nothing I can do about it now, unfortunately, so let's just continue onwards. Whoop. Get you running around along here. Uh, oh, we're very close to the trapper. So, can I actually just. Uh, no, I can't. It's fine. Yeah, we're very close to the trapper, so let's just get to him. I think he's down here somewhere, right? Should be... There he is. Whoop. Welcome back. So, what do you have for me? Well... I might have something for you, so give me one second. Let me just see here. Sell. Okay, let's take a look at it. Uh, alligator tooth. Yes, sir. I'm gonna sell them. All of them. I have cougar fang. Yes. I have a uh, moose antlers. I, make with that. I have a legendary ram hide. 
and the legendary moose pelt. But I also have these things. I have some rats apparently that I'm, I've been keeping in my pocket. I don't know why. Elk antlers. So yeah, that's about it. Thanks for your help. Um, what can you? Let's see what. All made to measure. What you can give me? Here, boom. Nothing? Interesting. Reinforced equipment? What is this? Reinforced horseman gun belt. Yeah, why not? Let's get it. Okay. Uh, weapons expert. Weapons holster. Reinforced holster reduce the amount of maintenance. Yeah, let's do that. I have a sharpshooter. Hold on. Sharpshooter bandolier. Um, increases ammo capacity. Of course. Okay. Yeah, we have a lot of things in here. Um, s saddles? No. That, that's it I get. Gar garment sets. Hmm. I don't, I don't even know. The ghost bison, the stalker. What do we need for the stalker? Legendary Ram Hide. Don't I have a lot of Legendary Ram Hide? Do I have to sell it to him? I totally forgot how things work in here. Bravo, who's one of the best. You feed him tequila. He'll tell you about the time he saw El Berendo Blanco. White pronghorn. Gotcha. I'm gonna sell him. Right, let's see. The moose belt. Boy, the things I can make with this. Okay. I have a lot of be bear claws. That's interesting. Real good doing business with you. Okay. Let me see here. Nothing quite like wearing your best day's work. What can you do for me, buddy? Nothing. Okay, that's weird. Reinforced equipment. I'd like to know. Nope. Oh, survivalist. Here we go. Survivalist gun belt. Increases ammo capacity. Yeah, why not? Yeah, I'm gonna go for, for everything, you know what I'm saying? Uh, garment sets. Hold on a second. The stalker. There we go. I can make a ram hat. Mm, not really. I can do those. Hello. Legendary ram hide. Three of those. Okay. <clears throat> Does this do anything for me? Reasonably warm, pair with other warm items for protection from the cold. No, I'm good. I'm good. Thank you very much. Have a good day, sir. I, um... I'm getting out of here, uh, apparently. Oh, well, actually, hold on a second. Um, can I just camp? Camp with this guy? Maybe? Maybe I can camp with this guy. Let's have a look. Because if I can, it would be lovely to cook, to be able to cook. No? Good hunting. Hmm. Interesting. Can I? Can I not like make camp here? Yeah. Yes, I can. There we go. We're gonna make camp. We're gonna cook some meat. Maybe sleep a little bit. You know. Um. Hello. You ain't welcome in these parts. I guess you guys didn't see... Right, I thought I made camp next to the trapper. But... Yeah, let's loot this guy really quickly. Dun, 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 dun. This... Do I have any meats to cook? I wonder... Um, let's see. Apparently I do. Plain mutton. Yes. We're gonna cook everything, guys. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do. 
So yeah, that's my plan. Uh, we'll cook this meat. We'll sleep for the night. Wake up early in the morning. You know, and then go hunting with, with our uh, with our buddy. And then after we're done hunting, we'll probably have to return to camp. So we'll do that. But as you can see right now. Night is coming. I'm just gonna cook this uh, this meat here so I have it for later. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, let's cook this as well. Uh, actually, let's cook the venison here. I probably should have uh, explored, you know, more cooking recipes, um, because I'm sure there are some cooking recipes that would, that are, give you better produce. But yeah, I think I'm happy with some of the plain meats that I can cook. I mean, throughout this whole experience, I have uh, used. I think I, I'm more I'm more fond of like using um, you know uh, drinks and snacks and stuff like that and and only I only eat meats after I'm fully depleted or something or I try to at least because normal normally meats like fully restore your um, your attributes. Okay, ding, ding, ding. I should cook this as well, right? So yeah, sorry about this, guys. It's gonna take a little bit longer, but we'll get we'll get some sleep in, and then we'll continue on with uh, with the plan, with the master plan. I'm very curious if we're going to return to the um, Wapiti. Um, camp, or if they even like still have a camp, I don't even know. I the repercussions of us going in to save eagle flies, whew, that's gonna be. I think we've we've we're in over our heads at the moment, and I'm blaming. I'm of course blaming it all on Dutch because. Dutch and his uh, best friend Micah are the ones who got us into trouble. So, yeah. Anyways, the uh, the meat is cooked, so we can sleep until the morning. Yes, let's sleep until the morning. Start a new day fresh. Here we go. So... We are going to tear down the, uh, the camp. Because... That's what you should do. You should clean up after yourself. And then be on our way. Let's have a look here. All right, girl. Doo, doo, doo. There we go. That's exactly what I wanted. Doo, 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 doo. Meet up with our buddy and get to hunting. I wonder what uh, what animal he is going to want us to hunt with him this time around. Last time it was a, a wolf that was giving him grief. Let's see what uh, what's it gonna be this time around. There we 
we go. Yep, he seems to be home. He's probably eating breakfast or something, you know? I really like his horse. His horse looks amazing. Just a moment. Hamish! Arthur! Come on in. What's going on, Hamish? So, how you keeping out here? Ah, keeping fine, thank you. So it's all right then, is it? Living out here, away from civilization? <laughs> civilization? Yeah, I saw what civilization and industrial advancement will get you in the war. Progress, well, it ain't always progress. Besides, I ain't lonely up here. I got company. Well, I ain't company. Come look at these. Remember catching that? Mm-hmm. <gasps> I do. <laughs> I know you ain't forgot about him. Oh, I still see him in my dreams. <laughs> yeah, I got the whole of nature up here. And I'm gonna make the most of it, as long as there still is some. Whoa. They weren't lying. Uh -oh. What's that? Right there by the outhouse. Look at the Whoa. size of that boar. Holy moly. Holy hell. I saw some cattle gourd the other day, but I didn't think it was possible. Oh my god. Let's go take care of it. Let's go. Okay. Yes. Let's do it, Hamish. Okay, easy Damn, does it. I I got him. Pursue. I'll grab the mounts. Oh, okay. Kill the boar. Should have grabbed the other freaking gun. Stop, please. Damn it, man. Strong. Damn it. Search the area for the signs of the boar. Well, I shot it like two times because one of the shots went into the tree, but. Man. going to attack me or something, isn't it? What? How did you get here so fast? I'm afraid I lost sight of him. Don't worry. The traps go this way. Come on. Sure thing. I'm following you, I guess. Giddy up. You see that thing? It's as big as a buffalo. It was huge. Fast, too. Yeah, no. but we'll get him. <laughs> That's what she, she said. Came through here, okay. All right. Giant boar. Big shit. He's been across here twice. What we do? Well, he's been up this hill to the right and down this one in front of us. But I can't tell which tracks is fresher. Let's split up. You go up, and I'll go on. Sure thing. Okay. Good luck to you, sir. Yeah. Come on, you. Yeah. Okay. What's that? Wolf carcass. Holy moly. Man, this thing is going to attack us, isn't it? Not the wolf, I mean the, the giant boar. Investigate the gunshots. <laughs> no. Oh, Hamish. I hope he's alright. Yeah. Hamish. Shit, he's after him. Go, 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 go. Hamish? No, 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 no. 
Are you kidding me? Come on. God. I miss you. <laughs> I got thrown and a bastard hog got me. <sighs> Take a bill for me, would you? He's a good horse. Oh, come on. He may be stubborn. <laughs> but he's That's not the way I wanted to get that horse. Amish. Damn it. Of course, I was too slow. <sighs> What's wrong with me? Okay, there we go. You got him, old man. Take the trophy, I guess. I don't really want... Do I want to take this horse, though? I don't know if I do. If I'm, if I'm being honest. But this is a giant... It, it's a giant boar. For sure. Easy, boy. Good boy. <sighs> He is a very nice looking horse, if I'm if I'm honest with you. He is a Dutch war, warm blood. <sighs> yeah, but he doesn't he does not compare to my Missouri Fox Trotter. So, I don't know. I'll make a decision and we'll see. I might I might take him. You know, get him to uh, get him to a stable and and just put him there. But yeah. All right guys, I think this is as good a time as any to um, end the episode. Thank you very much for sticking around. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.